Hey y'all, hey. Hey y'all, hey. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 5 a.m. prayer. Hey y'all, hey. Look, I still got mascara from yesterday, y'all. I thought I got it all. My bad. Hey y'all, hey. Good morning. Come on in. Have a seat. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I, don't, I don't need to do that, do I? Thank you, Lord. Come on in and have a seat. Bless the Lord. Good morning, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Joe. Hey, y'all. Hey, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We have completed October. We had a month of 5 a.m. prayer. Bless the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, Miss Angeline. Hey, Gabby. Hey, y'all. Hey, come on in here. And if you got your heavenly language, go ahead and start praying and warring in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, y'all. Hey, I'm going to be pacing today. Thank you, Jesus. I, I feel like I can't sit. Thank you, Lord. I feel like I can't sit. Hey, Jamiri girl. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God, you are mighty and awesome, God. Thank you, Lord, for waking us this morning. Hey, thank you for waking us this morning, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name, Jehovah. Glory to your name, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Do y'all think it's strange? I'm just, I'm just going to ask the five folks that's on this live. Hallelujah. Do y'all think it's a little strange that this is the first time ever? Hey, Miss Kennedy. Hey, Gray. But do y'all think it's a little strange that this is the first time ever in my lifetime? I could be mistaken because I might be too young to remember. But it's the first time ever that we, as in our children, have been home for an election. I want that to marinate in your spirit just for a second. Hallelujah. Our children are home for the election. At least mine. I don't know if y'all has to, if you all's children have to physically go to school, but we got like a virtual learning off day type situation for the election. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We just going to pray, y'all. We're not going to speculate. We're going to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, God, that you give us insight, Lord, God, and you give us warning before destruction. Thank you, Jesus. Lord God, forgive us, Lord God, where we haven't been praying as we ought. But we thank you, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit that we have within us, that you have allowed your son to be a living sacrifice who rules and reigns on your right hand forevermore, whose name we can pray and ask in, Lord God, and it shall be done. We thank you, Lord God, that by his stripes we are healed. Any manner of sickness of anyone that is on this live of anyone that is on the playback of anyone's family members, Lord God, who are in distress in their body, in the mighty name of Jesus, any malfunctions of their respiratory system, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, any malfunctions of their nervous system, Lord God, any malfunctions of the bones, Lord God, we pray that their bodies align with your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray healing right now in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Anything that is not correct, Lord God, we pray that you correct it and we pray they be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you. 
But Lord God, we humbly repent. We humbly pray for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, forgive us, Lord God, for the repetitious sins that we commit knowingly, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray for deliverance right now. We pray, Lord God, that you remove, Lord God, the prick and the planks from our eyes in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove, Lord God, any idols that we have set above you, Lord God. We surrender here today in the mighty name of Jesus, anything that is not like you, Father God, any and everything that is not like you, our mental concepts, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, anything that is not like you, our ways of thinking, our logic, Lord God, that is not heavenly wisdom, anything that is not like you, Father God, we pray that it be removed far from us in the name of Jesus so that we may draw closer to you in your son, Jesus name any Thank you, Lord God. Anything that has been habitual, anything that has been repetitive, our routines, Lord God, that separate us from you, Lord God, help us, Lord God, to draw near to you so that you may draw near to us in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, that you make your abode with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to understand the beauty that is in holiness for you are a holy God, Lord God, and you do not accept anything less. And Lord God, help us to get there. Help us, Lord God, in every place in our minds, bodies, hearts, and souls that we lack. Help us in every place in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, you sent your Holy Spirit to help our infirmities, to be a teacher and a comforter, and to bring all things back to our remembrance concerning the word. Lord God, help us to rightly divide the word of truth. Lord God, write your word on the tablets of our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, everything that is going on in this world today, Lord God, let us not be to deceived. Let us not be unaware, Lord God, for you are the revealer of secrets. You dwell in the thick darkness, Lord God. Thank you, God. You dwell in the thick darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are the revealer of secrets, that you are the interpreter of dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us not be unaware in this season, Lord God. Help us to see the schemes of the enemy, Lord God, and help us to know know how to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, remove every spirit of slothfulness. Deliver us of laziness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. For you said in your Proverbs, Lord God, every lazy man, Lord God's home will perish because we do not keep our homes because we are slothful. Our homes being where your spirit dwell, our bodies, Lord God, we do not keep our temples the way we need to. We do not keep our minds reading your word the way we need to, Lord God, and we repent right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, repair any destruction that this has caused, Lord God, in our spirit man, in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Forgive us, Lord God, for setting up the war within our members in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us for opening every gate, every gate to the enemy and the army of darkness, Lord God. Forgive us for knowingly participating in pagan holidays, Lord God, making us an open portal to the army of darkness, Lord God. Forgive us, Lord God, for being proud participants of this world, Lord God, and not holding high your statutes, Lord God, because of fear of man and what they may say or think of us, Father God. Forgive us, Lord God, for putting this above you. Forgive us, Lord God, for putting our shame above you, Lord God. Forgive us for neglecting you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, in this election time where our country, Lord God, has prepared, Lord God, for the worst, Lord God, where you have shown us dream after dream of destruction, of civil unrest, Lord God, of lawless behavior, of looting, stealing, Lord God, and of damaging of property, Lord God. We pray a hedge of protection around everything that pertains to your people. Cover us in the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God and where you have unctioned us to prepare in the mighty name of Jesus for the worst where you have unctioned us to prepare Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God we pray for the provision in your son Jesus name where we may be on a lockdown Lord God and unable to go out prepare the provision for us in the mighty name of Jesus let none of our appliances our cars or anything in our homes fail in this season in the mighty name 
name of Jesus, help us to prepare, Lord God. Give us the list of things we need, Lord God, and make the provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, keep our children safe and out of harm's way, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every aren't every evil and demonic force that is behind every app, every game on their phones and in the media, Lord God. We pray a hedge of protection around their minds in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, guard their gates and guard their hearts, Lord God, where we will not be able to be around them 24-7. But Lord God, be a covering and a shield for their minds in the mighty name of Jesus where the enemy wishes to disrupt and to dismantle, Lord God, values in the mighty name of Jesus and morals and holiness, Lord God, protect their minds, protect their hearts and protect their souls in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, cover everyone that is going to the polls to pray. In your son, Jesus Christ's name, cover them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet, where there are schemes, Lord God, and plans of the enemy to cause mass destruction, to cause hysteria, and to cause fear. In your son, Jesus Christ's name, Lord God, for you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of sound mind, Lord God, and we thank and praise you, Lord God, that we can exercise our right to vote in the mighty name of Jesus. Any of these malicious groups, Lord God, any groups that have malice intent to Toward the people of God and towards people of color and towards people, Lord God, who wish to think outside of the box, towards the people, Lord God, who wish to follow and serve you, Lord God, anyone that wishes to do harm, we throw confusion into the enemy's camp right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we throw the fire of the Holy Ghost in their camp right now, destroy every plan, every demonic scheme, destroy it now in the mighty name of Jesus, keep them protected. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as they are traveling to the poles in your son, Jesus Christ's name, Lord God, let no hurt or harm come to any of our government officials in the mighty name of Jesus. Let no hurt or harm come to anyone that is in power, Lord God, locally or on a national scale in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover our leader, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, where people are praying and wishing to do harm and wishing for his demise. They do not understand. Understand that if that happens, we open ourselves up to greater warfare in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us for the idle words that we speak out of our mouths concerning those who are in leadership where we lack understanding on what you are doing in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us, Lord God, for talking foolishly and unable to keep our tongue in the mighty name of Jesus, not just against our president, Lord God, and not just against his running mate, Lord God, not just against those who are running against against him to be in office, Lord God, but open our mouth, open our eyes to the legislation that is trying to be passed, that will try to restrict and turn America into a dictatorship and not a democracy in the mighty name of Jesus. They have passed, they have gone past, Lord God, as those who have been in leadership going past, they have been making stepping stones, Lord God, to convert this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we repent, Lord God, for allowing the spirit of perversion to come in in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, turn the hearts of your children back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, a prick will be in their spirit, Lord God, for repentance across this nation, Lord God, where we have allowed atheists and the antichrist to come in and remove you out of every place on this land lord god we pray that you return in the mighty name of jesus in your full glory and splendor lord god as the head of this country in the mighty name of jesus where we look to man in the legislative branch where we look to man in our government lord god we repent for holding man higher than you in the mighty name of jesus lord god have your way have your way in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus where the church has been asleep and you have called us to repentance you have called us to turn for we are the people who are called by your name we have not humbled ourselves before you Lord God and we repent right now in the mighty name of Jesus we stand in the gap and repent on the behalf of those who are too ignorant to do so for those who are too ignorant to understand that you are talking about us the church in the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus, we repent right now in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Forgive us, Lord God, for we are the ones that are called by your name and we have not humbled ourselves and repented and turned from our wicked ways, how we have turned your church houses into whorehouses, how we have tried to prostitute you, Lord God. That is the reason why you have shut down the physical location of the church. We repent, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus for pushing our doctrine, for perverting the translation of your holy word. We repent right now for doing it for our selfish gains and agendas, God. We repent, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord God, to turn from our wicked ways. In your son, Jesus Christ's name, Lord God, hold back the destruction. In your son, Jesus' name, Lord God, that will befall this land, Lord God, due to the error of our ways. Help us, God, in the name of Jesus. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put them up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Facebook start acting up. I've seen it connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Start acting up as soon as you start talking about prayer and elections. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, you are wonderful. You are awesome. You are amazing, God. And we just thank you and magnify you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. You alone, God, are worthy. You alone, God, are just magnificent in all of your majesty, Father. And we thank and praise you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, cover the homes of everyone watching live or on the playback. In the mighty name of Jesus, strengthen the family bond right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let no... Thank you, Lord. Let no disturbance go unanswered in the mighty name of Jesus. Let no disagreement go unresolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us not to go to bed angry in your son, Jesus Christ's name, but help us to come to a common ground in your son, Jesus Christ's name. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You all be blessed. Hallelujah. You all be blessed. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for praying. We are praying for wisdom for the Jones family in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, give them divine instruction on how they are to move and to operate in this season, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, whether it be in growth, whether it be in ex expansion of the family, Lord God, whether... Thank you, Jesus, where they have decisions to make, Lord God, in, as far as location goes, Lord God. We pray that you give them divine wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that they will not go on their own logic in the mighty name of Jesus. But we thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for what you are doing in their family in the mighty name of Jesus. For Lord God, in all they're getting, they will get understanding in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Proverbs is going to be your friend, the Joneses. <laughs> Proverbs concerning wisdom will be your friend. Thank you, Jesus. And you and your husband going to have to get together and read the word together. And God's going to start giving y'all instruction together. And it's going to be funny. It's going to be kind of like, you know how you play tennis? Never played tennis before. But you know how you play tennis and you got to knock the ball one to the other over the fence? That's how it's going to be as you guys come together and commune over the word. And as you guys make decisions as a family. And you have the word at the center. The word being the Lord. Hallelujah. As you have it at the center in y'all's discussions, hallelujah, going to the word first and then praying and then having those conversations on what y'all need to do. God's going to be talking to him. God's going to be talking to you. And it's going to be kind of like a um a um tennis match where it has like a rhythm and a dance almost. And God's going to start giving y'all revelation. Thank you, Jesus, on what to do and how to function as a unit and how to solidify your foundation in him. And how to be unshakable and unmovable in him. Hallelujah. But you got to put the word at the center. And Proverbs where he discusses wisdom. is a whole chapter on wisdom. 
and how it speaks of wisdom as a woman. Hallelujah. That's the one y'all going to need to sit and eat for a minute. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you have any more prayer requests, go ahead and put them up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. I can't remember the chapter in Proverbs. I just know in there's a, a quite a few scriptures in one of them chapters where uh, Solomon speaks of Proverbs, I mean, as wisdom, as a woman in Proverbs and how you tend to and how you seek her out and all that stuff. Y'all marinate on that thing. Thank you, Lord. Put his word first. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, we even thank you that the businesses, Lord God, for those who are watching live and on the playback, that they're going to say they're going to see an uptick. Thank you, Lord, in business. That they're going to receive more requests for what is needed concerning businesses in the kingdom. Lord God, we thank and praise you that we are even prepared, Lord God, for the influx, Lord God, of telephone calls in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that you are going to prepare us, Lord God, for the influx of services that are needed in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank and praise you, Lord God, for the wave of financial prosperity that is coming by way of businesses for the saints in your son, Jesus. Jesus Christ's name. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that the homes, Lord God, that drive trucks, that the homes, Lord God, that do catering services, the homes, Lord God, that provide services in the mighty name of Jesus, that they will receive an uptick in telephone calls, that they're going to receive a, an abundance of calls, Lord God, in the coming months going into 2021 in the mighty name of Jesus and the uptick in the calls and the prosperity isn't just for the family, but it's to store up, Lord God, for the entire family, not just in the household underneath the roof line and the foundation before the family and the bloodline for an inheritance. We thank you, Lord God, that you will provide the provision for them to handle, Lord God, the telephone calls that are going to come for them to handle, Lord God, the and have employees, Lord God, that will be able to handle, Lord God, the prosperity that you are going to pour out in the mighty name of Jesus, that your people will not be taken by surprise and unprepared, nor will they look unprofessional. But we thank and praise you, Lord God, that you are going to make the provision in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I don't know who that was for. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. For the bloodline blessings. For the inheritance that you have set up for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory, God, and we praise you. Plead the blood of Jesus over every prayer that was prayed today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cut off the enemy's head right here today. We shut his mouth. We place a muzzle over his mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, where they are coming together and communing, even on the conversations and the prophecies and the insight and the wisdom that has gone forth, Lord God, today. We thank and praise you, Lord God, that we are covered in the blood, that the words are covered in the blood, that there will be no prince of Persia that will hold up the prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. It, the prince of the air, Lord God, we thank you, Lord. We bind his wings right now where, we, where he will try to take messages to and fro. Lord God, we blind and we make dumb every monitoring spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, plead the blood of Jesus over the prayers. We plead the blood of Jesus over the homes of the saints. We plead the blood of Jesus, Lord God, even over the uh, believers right now, Lord God, that they receive salvation today in the mighty name of Jesus, that they receive the call to accept your son, Jesus Christ, as their savior, Lord God, and as their redeemer in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray that they be filled with the Holy Spirit in your son, Jesus Christ's name, with the gift of the Holy Spirit and the gift of speaking in their heavenly language that is ordained by you in the mighty name of Jesus, because you so desire, Lord God, for them to have a deep relationship with you, for them to be able to speak to you directly, uninterrupted, Lord God, with clear frequency. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. 
Thank you, Lord. You all be blessed and have a wonderful day. And I'm sorry if you got kicked off. You just got to get it on the playback. Hallelujah. Y'all, y'all so amazing and awesome. Enjoy the beginning of your week. And I can't wait till I can start feeling this fallback sleep. Hallelujah. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.